Oh shit, I actually forgot to put that song in. Oh wait, I think I did put that song in a while ago. I don't know. Oh no, it was the other one. It was the other one. Slide I, I because I, I I just realized like fucking there's like not many. Oh well, yeah, that's it's the other one. <laughs> yeah, it's the other one. But uh, thanks for the suggestion because I, I I said it before. The the playlist is literally about to end, so I kind of had the whole oh. new songs in. Rather me being prepared for the stream? Nah, can't be me. Can't not be me. Just heard somebody right here too. I mean, it's not really my problem, boo. I'm just poking a person. Found the alarm goes hard? Yeah. Found the alarm is a fucking classic. One of the many classics. Gosh, gotcha, she actually just stood there. Honestly, I actually thought I was going to miss that one. I actually thought I was going to miss that one. There's a reason why I don't try to go for a saw like that, because most of the times I hit the window and it's like, oh my god, I really wish I never did that. And then I, that, that's why I start wanting to, like, force the entity block on the window. So that when I block the end, when I do the entity block, I can just go straight on them and just hit them with the back row there. Because sometimes hitting them on the window doesn't really work out so well. It's a dedication that gets the trick. I shouldn't have done that. I uh, made it a little bit more worse for myself uh, pulling that off. And she goes out with the life. Uh, if I just like waited with like the 99 on the locker and then just stood there, would have been the right choice. Oh, and then she right there. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I actually saw somebody right here. Oh no, they're actually right there. And we're back on this LMT wall. Now, I can't stop thinking about this LMT wall because of that game I had with that Blight. Bro, I just jinxed it. I, I, I was mentioning Blight. Now all, now all I see in my chat is a, is a Blight request. Bro, Ghosty, stop reading my mind, man. But okay, though, I'll do the Alchemist Spring Blade Crow again. If I do that, I might as well just throw Shadowborn and then just bring up Nara, bro. That's the same build this one blight used against me when I was uh, swiping and I got stuck in when I was stuck in Florida. But God, now like when you when you give that to a really good blight, it feels I I just I gotta tell you, man, I don't think going against blight feels like a pain in the ass. I think going against a speed blight is more scary than anything, because you, you just you just think about like they're just moving so fast. What do I do? This is, this is what's in my mind all the time. It's like it's really really hard to like figure out what to do to dodge it. If one has light and the other one has bounce landing. Or that's the No, that's the same person. That's the same person. What the hell am I even saying? You just know my mind, bro. Stop being psychic, bro. Yeah, I was just thinking about Blight because, uh, thing. Because of that story. I'm telling you, man, like. I would love going against a Blight if they didn't have uh, speed add-ons. If, if they didn't have speed add-ons and they know what they're doing, like, that'd be cool. That would be fine with me. But the problem why I don't like going against Blight is if when they have speed add-ons or like Adrenaline Vial, you could see them going so fast, you could just be standing in the ground, keeping keeping your eyes ready, and then your eyes, your eyes, will, not dis uh, your eyes will pretty much deceive you in the next 10 to 20 seconds. Well, not even 10 seconds, not 10 even, not to 10 to 20, I mean, 2 seconds, two, 1 to 2 seconds, that's, that's already good enough. Uh, and then to make it even worse, they'll already hit you within, within like a second or two. And then if you try to like dodge it, they already get the extra bump. And before you know it, you get a hug tech within a couple of seconds, just like that. I, I just really don't like the, the speed, the speed lights. This, this, like, speed lights are so scary, even if it's somebody I know, like... I've played against so many speed blights that I, I'm like, I wouldn't really say I'm friends with, but it's just recognizable names, and it's not great. To redeem a killer build that's pain to go against just for the bulls, you, you can just save up the 10k channel points, and I can totally hook that up for sure. By the way, one of those uh, subathon goals is a full killer build request stream. And the, the catch with that one is everyone can do free. It's, it's not even free request Friday. Think of you think of it as free request Friday, but you can you can actually choose perks. It was a 
solid dead hard there. I never really want to do like a bow to push stream, but I'd rather just you know do it for a seller. That's the fun fact how I know Epic Cuck, because when I did when I did a sell uh, sellout uh, sellout streams for builder quests with bits and gifted subs, this dude would literally request Scratch Mirror Myers and make me suffer. And then I'd have Ultra playing the air horn on top of it too. Like people would do that regularly, but Epic Cuck was like kind of there for that for that time. Those were the times. Ooh, I actually thought you were gonna greet that. But movement said that movement said I'm not gonna drop that pallet. But in reality they actually did drop that pallet. Indeed they had. Nice little trip down the corner. You double check to make sure it was like awful to go against. <laughs> yeah, now nah, if, if you want to make it really awful, you can do twins. But I need to get all the perks next time. But I, I can't lie to you. People get mad at me for not having all the perks on twins. If people do like, and I think this has happened before. If people get mad at me for that. It's it's kind of weird. Like, and I'm saying like specific viewers have done that. When I don't have the perks and, I, and I'm playing twins, I think honestly playing twins is just the worst of it. But if you say play twins with like the meanest build, I can probably just like hook up like, a couple slow rounds just to make someone smile. This is like a very very old viewer though. This is like way back when I did a when I did slot requests. I'm glad I don't really do them because I don't really get that much fun with doing it. Anyway. Everyone was working on an individual gen doing their own thing. I just heard a locker, so okay. By the way, my game audio is at 20. Actually, my game was at like 15 to 10 on my desktop, and my other audio, um, my in-game, um, my in-game audio is at 10. I play this game at 10 because this game is loud as fuck. It's too loud. With too much bass noise. I mean, look at this. If I show my, if you, I showed you guys my desktop capture, I'm telling you, I'm not joking. Like it really is very low. They fucked up the healing skill check. Repatch, the end of Gifted Pain, Eruption, Call of Brian, and that game was like fun to watch, bro. That game just sounds terrible. Gift of Pain, Call of Brian, Eruption, Thana, Legion, No Sleep Pills. Yeah, no, nah, that game just sounds like that game sounds like horror. Did anyone even give up on that game, or were they just playing it out? Most of the time, it's just best to play it out. But, bro, trying to play a game out like that is like, oh my god. I wouldn't even think about it. It was they all gave up. <laughs> yeah, like I don't, really, I don't really see the fun in that one though. I don't want to talk about it, but it's like old times. It's cool. We're actually getting like a lot of BP though for games. I think all those survivor games and uh, challenges did the trick a bit. <laughs> 